Hello, testing. Hi, everyone. Very good afternoon to you all. Um, so today, in, in the next 10 minutes or so, um, we'll be looking at answering this, um, the following question. Oops, not too fast. So um, if you're looking to go into block development, do you need to learn React, um, which is the JavaScript library that the block editor is written in? And um, the answer to such a question is always a resounding, it depends. And, and um, in my op opinion, there are two approaches to, um, to get into block development. So then the, ne the next question would be, what is it dependent on? So uh, I would say that it depends on which of the two approaches you'll be undertaking. So the first one um, would be to lean towards using um, PHP. And um, with this approach, it's quite likely that you will be using um, a third-party framework like Advanced, advanced Custom Fields, um, which provides you with a pretty neat system to um, write your blog entirely in, in PHP. And the most obvious benefit of this is how, um, how quick and easy it can be to get up and running. You don't have to worry about um, things like um, tooling and um, package management, that kind of stuff. Um, it's also worth noting that um, plugins like Advanced Custom Fields, they are pretty popular um, in, the, in the WordPress ecosystem. So it's quite likely that you are already familiar with its API. And um, leveraging its familiarity to do something new is always um, very appealing, especially to seasoned WordPress developers um, and PHP developers. And this is also a very versatile approach. Um, you can create simple to complex blocks. And with this approach, um, you will be writing predominantly PHP because of um, what the framework um, provides. You can easily write your blog from start to finish entirely in PHP. There's very minimal um, JavaScript required, if at all, and let alone React. Um, so in this case, back to the question, if you are going to go with this approach, um, is it necessary to learn React? Um, in my opinion, I don't think you need to, but um, this is also based on the assumption that you are using a third-party framework like um, Advanced Custom Fields, because if you're not, then things can get a little bit um, more complicated. But just for simplicity's sake, we're just going to assume that you'll be using um, a framework, and in that case, it allows you to write entirely um, in PHP from start to finish. Um, but but the idea of using a third-party um, dependency to do something fundamental uh, with WordPress development can be a deal-breaker to many people. Um, lack of future-proofing in compatibilities are some um, valid reasons for many to want to stay away from them and stick, to, uh, stick as closely as possible to doing things the, the WordPress way. So what is, what is the WordPress way? That brings me to my second approach, um, which is JavaScript. So using JavaScript is, um, is also known as um, the official way of, um, the official WordPress way of doing block development. Um, this means that you'll be using um, API provided by WordPress core, which um, tend to be, um, which tend to focus more on being performant as well as um, providing a more superior um, editing experience. And just like the first approach, this is versatile. You can um, easily create simple or even complex blocks. Um, you're definitely not restricted to um, a specific degree of complexity. Um, it's also worth mentioning, um, though, that the term JavaScript and React are probably not very um, synonymous with WordPress development, at least until um, a few years ago. So if you have done any um, modern JavaScript development, you know that um, things like tooling, configuration, even getting your um, local environment up and running can sometimes be a small little project um, by itself. Um, and not many of us actually have the luxury of um, time to go into that. So it's for this very reason, um, this approach could be quite a daunting one um, to start with if you're looking to get into um, with, um, block development. So 
With um, this JavaScript approach, um, as the name suggests, it's going to be very minimal um, PHP. You'll be writing mostly JavaScript. Um, as with many other things in WordPress, though, you cannot really um, avoid writing PHP. Um, in this case, the extent of PHP is probably going to be um, used for enqueuing scripts and um, registering your blog on the server side. I also want to point out that um, if you're writing a dynam dynamic blog, um, depends on its complexity, there could be more PHP involved. Um, but in this case, if you're just dealing with um, basic blocks, then it's going to be predominantly JavaScript. So back to the question for approach number two, um, is it necessary to learn React? And the answer is, you'll be surprised to see that it, it depends again. So what is it dependent on this time? Um, I would say for JavaScript um, development, it's gonna, it's gonna vary depending on the, the complexity of the block you'll be writing. Um, if it's something simple that requires very minimal settings, um, then you could get away without learning um, too much React. Uh, I would say the Block Editor Handbook, for example, is a very good resource for you to get started. They have a Create Block tutorial there um, to help you get your first block up and running. Um, however, though, if you're getting into pretty uh, more complex blocks, then I would say that it's necessary to learn, um, to learn React because as the complexity of the block increases, you will find yourself um, getting into deeper concepts like state management, um, lifecycle um, hooks. So, and you would probably need to understand those to help you with like debugging and also to avoid common um, pitfalls with React development, like the infamous infinite loop when you use the use effect hook. Um, so, depends on the complexity of the lock. And um, this is a little summary of whether to learn or not. Um, it depends on which approach um, you're, you're going to go with. So, with PHP again, Assuming that you'll be going with um, a framework like advanced custom fields, then um, you can use whatever um, API that the framework provides you to write your block entirely in PHP. You don't have to worry about um, single line of React. So for JavaScript, if you are looking um, to do simple blocks, um, I pointed out that it's not really necessary um, because I feel that you still need maybe to have a cursory understanding of um, basic React concepts like state. Um, component and the GSX syntax. So all those um, concepts can be covered um, um, in if you go through the block tutorial on the block editor handbook. And then again, if you are looking to do complex blocks, um, things that deal with the WordPress data storage, the data module, working with external external data, um, then you would probably need to learn uh, React. And I've also written um, an article on this very topic. So in this article, we actually go deeper into both approaches, uh, provide more details as well as um, some code examples on what constitutes a simple block as well and a complex block. So feel free to give it a read. The link is there and um, you can scan the QR code as well. Um, I think that's it. Uh, that's all I have. Um, I would love to have a conversation with, um, with you all on this topic, but unfortunately, I don't think we have time for questions. Um, and, but I'll be hanging around, and so if you, you want to chat, feel free to, um, to, to reach out to me. If not, you can find me on social media from here. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Edmund. Okay, so